We would be honored if you would join us. Hey folks, welcome back to probably the last vlog video for 2023. It's been an absolute wild, uh, well, it's been a wild 12 months, but the last six months, particularly being able to get back into YouTube has been, um, something really exciting for me. I've, you know, being able to set up my own space again has been absolutely fantastic. And, um, honestly, it's been really, really fun being able to document the whole process. Um, so here at part 14, I think, of my little video series, um, I did do the the title change because it's not really building the Star Wars room, but um, it's almost to the point where I'm ready to do a bit of a room tour video in the new year. Um, I do have some plans to get some lighting happening for my vintage stuff or my three and three quarter inch display. Um, so hopefully I can get that happening in the next few weeks. Um, so I'm hoping sort of by January, late January, maybe February, I can start looking at doing a bit of a room tour and really getting a good look at everything in here. Um, so yeah, I've had, I hope everyone had a fantastic, you know, Christmas celebration, um, holiday break, whatever it is you, um, you celebrate. I hope you've had a great time with friends and family and, you know, come out of it all safe and, and, and sound and ready to kick on for the new year. Um, coming up this weekend, uh, is, is 2024, which is absolutely crazy. It's just been, it's been such a fast year. Um, so yeah, just, just before I continue on, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone. Um, you know, from, from right here, it means, means the absolute world to me, everyone that's been able to support me and hang out. Um, you know, been able to join me on this sort of journey back into, I, I mean, like I've, like I said, I've never really stopped the YouTube thing. It was just, it was a tough 18 months that I went through. Um, but the last six has been absolutely fantastic in terms of, you know, collecting and uh, what I've been able to do with my room here. I'm just, it's such a, just a happy place to be, you know, it's, it's a happy space and being able to come in here and, and, you know, showcase what I've, what I've got and what I've been getting and, Share it with people that are passionate like me. It's it means more than anything in the world. Honestly, it's it's such a good thing. Um, it just feels good. And those that do the same, you know how exactly how I feel. It's it's such a good thing. Um, so yeah, I did a live stream just the other day with uh, Christopher from Seriously Star Wars. Um, had a really good chat. For those of you who've been following me for a, for a few years, um, you'll remember that I used to do a podcast called Star Wars Go Figure. Uh, that was sort of through 2000, oh, was it 2018, sort of through to the start of 2020. And then I sort of adapted that into just my YouTube channel and live streams. Um, just the way it evolved. That's just how it evolved. Um, so part of that, and I was able to kick this off again with Christopher the other day, is um, I used to do a, a podcast episode called Star Wars Fan Features. Um uh, and yeah, basically it was talking to other Star Wars fans, getting to know other Star Wars fans. Um, and I've got a big list of questions that I like to ask and it's a good way to generate discussion and a bit of back and forth. And, um, I'm looking forward to sort of evolving with those questions and, and, and talking to other people throughout 2024. That's one of my main aims is talk to a lot of people. Um, so this is something you'd like to join me with on a live stream or even a pre-recorded something we can talk over, over StreamYard or Zoom and, and pre-record and then put it out there later. I'm happy to do either way. Um, I know live, live conversations aren't always easy to line up, especially in different parts of the world. Um, but yeah, I've already got a bunch of people in mind. I'm looking forward to teeing up times with those. I'm hoping to do as many as possible. Um, and yeah, I really want to. I really want to get that ball rolling again. Get some more interactivity happening on my channel with other other YouTubers, other Star Wars fans, other collectors, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that's just a little idea of what I want to get going in 2024. So, like I said, if you're interested and would love to come on and have a chat and get some, so people out in YouTube can get to know you as a Star Wars fan, um, I'd love to do it. I'd love. To, I'd really love to do that. Um, so yeah, shoot me shoot me a message through Instagram and email. Um, all the links are down in the description. Uh, it's, it's easy. It's the force of Jesse at gmail.com. Uh, so you can send me, 
send me an email um, and we'll, we'll, we'll hook something up in the new year. Um, yeah, I've already got a couple of requests to go on a couple of other channels next year, which I'm excited about. Um, I know they're going to be later in the year, so I'm, I'm excited to do that. And uh, yeah, just hopefully, hopefully a little, just a little bit more active in terms of talking to other people. You know, this, this year has been very much about sort of resetting um, and trying to, you know, just keep a nice steady stream of content coming out, which has, which has worked really well for me. Um, and it, it's continuing to work and it, it's, it's good fun. Um, if I ever stop having fun with it, I'll stop doing it and you'll, you'll know about it. <laughs> um, but yeah, to, to, to my members too, I just want to thank you guys for your support. It's been amazing. Um, yeah, definitely looking forward to doing more member exclusive content, whether it's just, I, I don't know yet. I, I did a little bit of an unboxing for them, for the, for you guys, uh, that are members last week. And I just, I got, I got some mail and I thought I'm just going to open it on camera and have a little bit of a chat about it. So little things like that, that I want to do, um, coming up in the new year, just, just to give back a little bit more to you guys for showing such support. Um, and yeah, definitely want to get some of you guys, the, my, the members, uh, to come and have some live chats with me. I reckon that'd be really good fun. So basically, just as I want to sort of show you around what's been happening in these last, well, it's only been a week and a half since I last put up a, a vlog. Um, finally, was able to find a couple of Detolf cases, um, which is really excited. IKEA have sit, now discontinued them. Um, at least here in Australia, I believe even in the US, they're they're beginning to start discontinuing the Detolf. So I snagged a couple for for nothing. Um, off of Facebook Marketplace, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna just show you exactly what I've done here. Um, so my intention was to get one and have it there in the corner. Um, upon bringing these home, I immediately just looked in that corner. I thought, no, that's going to, it's just going to feel squashed in there. That space needs to be there just for that bookshelf there, and. Um, I was discussing it with dear friend Fallen Jedi. Um, he he suggested moving the desk across and putting him in here. And as you can see, the man is an absolute genius because <laughs> look at that. Even one would have been good. Um, and you know, the desk is now easy to move. Like I said, I've got an air conditioner in that window. Um, and having the curtain as a bit of a backdrop works well. Um, it's just fantastic place placement for them. Um, I am going to get some lights for them to put some, just some puck lights for the bottom. But uh, finally, being able to collect um, save save space for my one six scales, my hot toys, sideshows, and a couple other bits and pieces that I've got in there. This space will eventually make room for the Obi Wan Kenobi Darth Vader when that is released. But I don't know. I've I've never had a Detolf case before, so. And it was just a coincidence that the guy that had them and was giving them away had them both opening on a separate side. So that sort of opens up like a like a bifold. And I'm really happy with how these have turned out. And uh, yeah, it's definitely inspired me to get some more Hot Toys. But yeah, like I said, I've got that Darth Vader from Obi-Wan Kenobi. He'll go there. Um, and yeah, it just it's nice to be a little bit selective. My old sideshow figures that were gifted to me a long time ago by another another fantastic friend, uh, member of the channel, Palpatine 1975. Never let these go. These are just, you know, it's sentimental. It's sentimental stuff. I uh, I make a point of, you know, favourite pieces of my collection are things that have been gifted to me over the years. Um, and yeah... So, what else have I done? I think I may have I may have shown this in the last video, but pretty much done with the black series uh, for now. I am thinking about get, still thinking about getting another one of these shelving units and chopping it up and having another shelf along the top, and then having the helmets across the top there from here. So taking those helmets, having them over there. And then having a little bit more space for vehicles. 
such as the Slave One, the Razor Crest, and next year when the Ghost shows up. Probably going to need a spot up there for it. If not, I'll hopefully have a different coffee table for it. But for now, um, yeah, that's sort of something I have in mind at the moment. We'll see how that goes. But as I've explained in previous videos, I've been getting these sort of tiered, tiered plastic shelves. K2SO still can't stand up. <laughs> So yeah, I've been able to get most of these. There's a couple of figures always, always a figure or two that have fallen down. There's Cal Kestis. Um, there's a few figures fallen there, but yeah, Empire Strikes Back through the like Mandoverse. Still might get one more for there under side of this year. And then the sequels, which is my most recent sort of fix up there of the uh, sequel trilogy to get them on display a little bit nicer. And of course, yeah, just sort of, I'm going to reorganize this, this little area here a little bit. I want to get the, the media um, and try and get that back down here where I've got my VHS tapes, um, Super 8s, CDs. I'm going to try and get all my media in that gap there. Um, and that'll free up those spots for some other stuff. Not sure yet. <laughs> So, oh, I did, my lovely girlfriend got me this for Christmas, Star Wars Archives, episode one to three, really excited. Uh, once I finish the book I'm reading, I'm going to sit and have a good look through that. So that's exciting. And uh, I'm just going to move my swivel chair out of the way, because this is something I've worked on as well. So I've given... The power of the force i've put them on some tiered risers i did have them on the sort of clear acrylic ones but to sort of sort of go through the rest of the room i decided they needed to go on there as well um you've got sort of return of the jedi expanded universe the vintage jabba's throne that's literally there that's holding the rancor up <laughs> it's a shocker um so basically what i had to do was condense all my Kenner vintage stuff down onto this one shelf, which I'm happy with, you know, it's, it's pretty much, it's not going to have any more additions to it. Um, unless, you know, I somehow miraculously come across some last 17s. Um, cause the only two I have are Endor Luke and Anakin. So unless I decide to spend some cash, um, yeah, I won't be adding any to this anytime soon. So I'm quite happy with having them all sort of condensed into one lot. I mean, I'd love to space them all out, but it is what it is. That's fine for now. I was able to get my sort of expanded universe and legends figures on display. Um, I'm going to try and get some little sensor bar lights here just to help illuminate those figures that are sort of sitting out the back there. But of course, the new Darth Revan at the front and Thrawn at the front there, as well as, you know, the Sith figures are fantastic. There's you know, Darth Krait, Lord Malavor, Neil Talon, there's Cade Skywalker. Plagueis, Bane, which is slightly customised, and again, yeah, Revan, Malik, Malgus, Nihil, Nihilus, sorry, thinking about the Nihil from <laughs> a High Republic, and then, yeah, the next part of the shelf is what I'm just sort of dubbing the Dark Times era for the moment, so I've put sort of Dr. Aphra and the two murder droids there, some sort of Jedi Fallen Order slash Survivor, and then the Kenobi, Kenobi era stuff um, and underneath that I have the Rebels Resistance uh, Retros which I'm pretty much done with I don't think I'm going to get any more retros unless they go on clearance and then uh, these figures which I may end up packing away just because they're a bit tight um, save a couple that I might dot around the room but they're sort of the Disney toy box and the uh, what are the, the Galactic figures, whatever they were, that sort of kitty line that they did a few years back. So yeah, I've been able to get this shelf 
sort of reasonably well organized. Just want to get some little sensor lights, which I have used before. Um, they were cheap and they worked well. So for little shelves like that, they'll work individual, individually for that. So I'll do that at some point. And yeah, just having the chair in the middle of the room, I'm actually going to swap this chair out for a two-seater, um, which will allow a little bit more room. Um, being able to get the chair out of the corner there means there's a little bit more room for activities. Um, what else has been happening? Not a lot. Uh, yeah, just, just keeping the room tidy. It's been fun. Um, I've got I've got to go to a framer. I did get this print back at Supernova. Pop Culture Expo back in November. So I need to get that put in a frame. So that I'm looking forward to hopefully going and getting that done in the next next week or two. Next time I get a day off, I'm going to try and go drop that off. But yeah, I've been up to this last week. I said these, I'm so stoked with these. To get them for absolutely nothing, I was looking for one. I was happy to pay a hundred, um, and yeah, just just struck at the right time and uh, snagged a couple for nothing. And uh, yeah, nice to get a couple of couple of items up the top there on on show. But yeah, I think the next the next job will be series. I'll probably take that picture down off the wall and put it up o over the door. I think. Not sure yet. Not sure. Don't quote me on that because I may change my mind. But yeah, just sort of give you a quick little whiz around. So yeah, this series of videos will continue in the new year. We'll see whether they are as frequent as they have been. But like I said, definitely expect a room tour. And we'll have a good look at everything. Another plan I have to do, hopefully in the coming weeks, is actually document all my books. I've got an app on my phone, um, so I can start logging them all in. But yeah, thank you folks for a wonderful, wonderful 2023. I appreciate all your support. It means the world to me. Um, yeah, it's, it's a good time to be a Star Wars fan. What can I say? It's, it's never been a bad time um, for me say what you will um yeah i yeah hope like i said if you, anyone wants to catch up and hang out and chat with me on a live stream in the new year can't wait i'd love to all right folks i'm gonna leave it there we'll see you in the new year um yeah tomorrow top 10 vintage collection just yesterday um i did release the top 10 black series for 2023 so we'll have those videos out before the end of the year i've got a live stream coming up on new year's eve um, hope you can join me for that. Until then, may the force be with you always.